Who's a good goat? Who's a good goat? None of you are good goats. You're all eating these trees. Our goats have been a little bad. They've been eating the bark off of these trees in their pen. That's just what goats are naturally prone to do. So I need to protect these larger trees. I've got some T-posts and about a five foot tall roll of wire mesh that I'm gonna string around this tree, hopefully That'll keep the goats from wanting to eat the bark. Sorry about that, the goat knocked over the camera. I don't know if you can see here, but I've twisted the uh, loose strands around each other just to connect the whole fence as a loop. It 
It probably doesn't need the zip ties to really secure this to the posts. I don't think the goats would be able to move it around, but it never hurts to have a little extra holding it in place. Over here in the boy goat area, we've got a bunch of smaller trees and they're really not worth protecting for us. To put fences around all of these smaller trees would really cut into the square footage that the goats have available to roam around and be goats. Plus it would be kind of a cluttered look. So we're gonna let the goats eat them. They have already I'll put in a clip so you can see how extensively they've already eaten some of these trees. When a complete circle of bark is eaten away, the tree dies pretty quickly because it can't get any nutrients or water up the tree to the top. That process is called tree girdling. These goats have been bending down and breaking some of the smaller trees to the point where they're kind of interfering with access and being able to get around in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip off a bunch of these smaller ones. I'll probably leave them in here so the goats can chew on the leaves and the bark and do whatever they want to with them. to give you folks another option for trying to save a smaller tree like this if you didn't have enough space to do a, a fence around it you could try using plastic corrugated pipe slitting it 
lengthwise and just wrapping it like a sleeve around each of the trunks of the tree, thereby preventing animals from chewing the bark away. We're not going to try and protect these trees using the pipe because we're afraid the goats would chew on this plastic and hurt themselves. Plus, that kind of a fix is pretty much just as ugly as dead trees. So, kind of defeats the purpose. But going with corrugated pipe would be flexible enough to follow the shape of the limbs. Maybe you're trying to protect your trees from deer or something else that you're not too worried about, about eating the pipe. Just thought I'd throw that out there. This cherry tree, the goats have just started nibbling on. So we're gonna go ahead and put a fence around it as well. As long as I'm working on the tree, I'm gonna go ahead and take out a couple of branches that are getting a little bit close to the house.